Larry Nance, he's just an uh, incredible athlete. Playing with him in the Suns, you just marvel at how, how talented he was. Larry Nance was a marvel of nature and his leaping ability, his, his personality, he just had a great personality too, to go along with all those physical talents that he had. He was doing things at that time that uh, nobody else was doing. And uh, that's a remarkable thing to say about uh, the great athletes we have in this league and the NBA. To have a guy doing something you've never seen before. And that's what Larry Nance brought to the table. Well, in the draft, we were drafting, I want to say 21 or 22. I can't remember exactly, probably 22. And uh, I had been to the ACC tournament and saw this young, Finn, skinny 6'10 guy, Larry Nance, do a couple of things on the court that you can't teach. So Nance was my guy. The thing with me was I was just so raw and coming in maybe 210 pounds and you know really had to uh, work on my game to develop but my first year was a struggle for me personally. He came in and paid his dues that first year. I think he averaged like seven. Had a great summer in the summer league and in the second year he took off. He evolved uh, when he first, he saw what he could do. I think he got more confident, got stronger, got better, uh, got in better shape. Talking about basketball IQ, I mean, he was one of those guys that if I was guarding Kareem and he was guarding Worthy and Kareem got down the first on offense and I'd stumbled or something, I'd go, Larry, I didn't have to say his whole name, he goes, gotcha. And, and that's basketball IQ, that's understanding the game. A few guys in this league, maybe two or three, that were responsible for me moving from the small forward to the shooting guard. Larry Nance was one of those guys. Larry, for me, was so tough to score against, tough as a defender, because what he would do, he had those long arms, so he would give me a little bit of a cushion on defense, so which meant I couldn't get around him and use my quick first step to beat him to the basket. And if I did beat him to the basket, he was so long, he'd recover and block my shot. And that's when I went to my coach and said, Coach, can I play shooting guard? <laughs> These small forwards get way too long, and Larry Nance was one of those guys. Larry Nance was really ahead of his time, and so you see these big players in terms of 6'10", 6 6'11", 6 stepping away from the basket and shooting three-point shots, long-distance shots, and, and shooting jumpers. Uh, Larry Nance was uh, more than capable of doing all of that and more. Larry Nance, uh, he was another one of those long, lanky guys that kind of hard, difficult to guard, real fluid, he had a lot of bounce, fluid, run the floor. Around the basket, he had that mid-range game. He was very good. Shot blocker. He, he could really elevate off the floor, run the floor extraordinarily well. And near the basket, with the ball, he put it away. My thing that I wanted to do was dunk on every seven-footer that was in the league, and I just about got them all. You didn't want to be around when he was dunking the ball either because you might get posterized, you know. <laughs> but Larry Nance uh, was really a special player, and. I think he's one of those players, was one of the forerunners of the 3-4 uh, type. You know, he wasn't really a three, wasn't really a four, but he was a great basketball player. And I think it started opening people's eyes to getting away from the labels uh, because of how he played. It's funny, I mean, even when he left, that translated into Mark West, Tyrone Corbin, Kevin Johnson, and Dan Marley. <laughs> so, uh, as great as he was with the Suns, the, the trade that Cotton and Jerry were able to engineer uh, set the groundwork for the next generation of, of success. Mm -hmm.